let's say you are testing an API and need to check something in the database. Here, I have submitted an order, but the API has no endpoint that would allow me to view the order and check if the data has been correctly submitted. What a bummer. Strictly speaking, when testing an API, I don't want to know about the underlying layers. Like, I don't care if there is a database behind the API, what kind of a database that is. I want to test the behavior of the API. So coupling the testing of an API with the internal implementation is rarely a good idea and I'm probably not the first to refer to this as an anti-pattern. You have been warned. But we don't live in a perfect world and there are still many cases where you may need to connect to a database from Postman. For example, you may need some data for your tests, but the database you read from is not the same as the one used by the API. Let me know in the comments below why you need to connect to a database from Postman. The most interesting idea will win a small prize. So how do you write something like select star from orders in Postman? That is the thing, you don't. Postman is an API testing tool, not a database client. Quite often an API sits on top of the database and provides some functionality. This is what APIs do. Postman uses protocols such as HTTP or WebSocket to talk to APIs, but it cannot connect directly to a database. So to read from a database in Postman, you need a middleware, essentially something in between Postman and the database. Postman talks over HTTP with a middleware and the middleware uses whatever protocol the database uses to connect to it. So for example, if you're searching for how to connect to MySQL from Postman, you have formulated your question wrong. This is not a Postman problem. What you need is an API on top of MySQL. However, let's talk about possible solutions as this can vary depending on what you need. If you need to read data from a database in Postman, you probably have a very complex system that you are testing. Do you really want to add more complexity to the mix? The easiest solution would be to not do it at all. You may be laughing, but think again if you really want to go this path as it will considerably impact the complexity of your solution. Just slowly walk away as long as you still can. If you need this for testing an API, use only the endpoints provided by the API to test the behavior. Maybe other testing layers can handle the scenario you wish to test. But since you're keen on doing this anyway and I can't change your mind, here are some other options. If you just need to get a role from a database, you could write a simple script that connects to the database, runs the query and exposes the results through an HTTP-based API. However, this step does require some programming skills. You need to know how to create a simple API and how to connect to a database. I have attached a simple Node.js script and other resources in the video description. However, any script needs to be written, tested, deployed and maintained. This will certainly add some complexity to the mix. What may seem to work today can break tomorrow and will require time to fix. In the video description I have compiled a list of free and open source tools for different database engines that you may want to look at. The third possible solution goes more into the direction of an enterprise level tool that connects to your database and exposes your data through an API. Well, a few years back, I did a tutorial on Dream Factory, which you'll find in the video description. Today, I wanted to show you another solution around Hasura. Hasura can easily connect to your database and expose a GraphQL API, which for relation data actually makes a lot of sense. Getting started is as easy as it can get. Just provide your database connection details, select which tables you wish to expose, use the query builder to generate a valid query and test it. If you're not so thrilled about using GraphQL, you can also create REST endpoints based on the GraphQL queries generated. Hasura can connect to your Postgres, SQL Server or BigQuery database. A preview version for MySQL is also available at the time of this recording and Oracle, MongoDB and other integrations are coming soon. You can get started with Hasura using the free plan to see how it works. If your database is accessible through the internet, you can use Hasura Cloud. Otherwise, Hasura also comes with a free and open source self-hosted solution that you can deploy with Docker. For Hasura Cloud, the API is password protected and in Postman, you need to provide the token in your headers. If this overview was helpful, like and subscribe. 
And let me know in the comment section below if you wish me to create a full Hasura tutorial.